rigorous, rigorous, hey. rigorous. Can't get him looking rigorous. Look at My champagne, but I'm rigorous. Look at My campaign looking rigorous. Look at Whole team hella rigorous. Lifestyle so rigorous. What? Hairstyle so rigorous. Hey. The top five ain't rigorous. If you left out this rigorous. In a few weeks, 32 teams will make their way to Qatar to battle it out in the FIFA World Cup. It's probably my favorite sporting fixture, even though my home country never makes it. Unless it's our own. Now most of us won't make it to the Middle East to watch Harry Maguire give away goals, but I have the second best thing. This is the Hisense UHH Mini LED ULED 4K TV. This specific one is the 65 inch. It feels like the younger and more affordable brother of my current 75 inch U9G. Don't worry though, it still packs quite a punch, boasting features like Mini LED, uh, Quantum Dot Color, IMAX Enhancement, uh, Game Mode Pro, uh, hands-free voice remote control, just to name a few. Now I won't be reviewing it by itself because a huge part of my viewing experience is Sound and Hisense added there, I think they call it the U5120G Atmos soundbar with a wireless sub. Now this is a first for me, every sub that I've ever had was connected to you know the soundbar or the speakers that it comes with, but this is different I guess. There will be another review on my Instagram just for that. For now, let's focus on the U8H. Let's talk about design. I know in recent years the trend has been to do away with bezels as much as possible and while the U8H does exactly that they also give us this nice fabric at the bottom which i thought was a really nice touch it really complements my lounge furniture you still get a lot of screen and a nice design touch that i've rarely seen in other high-end tvs like i said this one is a 65 inch tv but it also comes in 55 inches and 75 inches i've been using a 75 inch tv this year and let me tell you once you go all the way up to the top you never want to come down i act like a spoiled brat every single time I have to watch something on a smaller screen. So, the back. At first it looks like a, a standard high sense design until you notice there's a sub at the back with additional front and up facing speakers. This combo really makes for a pretty good sound experience. On the side we have two HDMI ports that support 4K at 120 Hz. We get two HDMI 2.0 ports, a USB port antenna and the usual audio and AV. Close to that you'll find another USB be ethernet and digital audio port the power cable goes on the opposite side i chose to put up my tv because i have a ton of wall space and i wanted my sound bar to have its own space on my stand you can of course put the tv on your tv stand the uhh comes with a sort of a, a folded shaped steel base that comes from the back of the tv it's actually one of my favorite designs to come from high sense it's very elegant, but as I said, it's all wall for me. You're also encouraged to use the base as a form of cable management. So shout out to Isense for that, cause my cable management, yikes. While we're still on the topic of design, the remote is a big selling feature of the UHH because it comes with hands-free voice capabilities. Now, I already use the voice remote control feature a lot because it comes with most high MTVs and instead of having to go type in the search bar, I just press the mic button and I can jump straight to the, the YouTube video or the streaming platform that I want with the simple voice command. This remote takes it a step further by being hands-free. Once you download and connect to the Vita app, you can control your TV using your voice. You can tell the TV to turn the volume down or to change the channel or to turn off the TV, among other things. You tell your remote and it listens. One thing Hisense always gets right is making very, very bright TVs. Thanks to mini LED technology, the UHH doesn't compromise on a vivid viewing experience. These mini LEDs are a fraction of the size of normal LEDs. So you get more LEDs making your TV brighter, but also because these LEDs are so small, they're much better at showing you the different colors and contrast. The more LEDs, the better. Speaking of color, let's talk about quantum dot technology. I first heard of this concept years ago watching a MKBHD video when this was still like the best new technology. It's come a long way since then. Okay, so to make it as simple as possible, it's backlight technology. This allows your TV to show showcase colors as vividly as possible. You may notice that some TVs aren't very good at light management when two opposite colors are displayed right next to each other, especially if it's colors that are displayed like on a black background, the color will sort of like spill into the black, but with quantum dot, this almost never happens. 
happens. Another feature that adds to just how great this TV is, is Dolby Vision. What Dolby Vision does is it optimizes your TV to showcase light and color in its truest form. It dynamically adjusts the changing light in your room and gives you the best experience possible. Whether you're watching something live on DSTV or you're watching something on a streaming service like Netflix. Now, when I'm watching my favorite sport, not only does it matter that I'm getting the best picture quality, but it also matters that I'm getting the best sound experience. The multi-channel surround 2.1.2 delivers sound that surrounds you so that even if you're, I don't know, thousands of kilometers away, you feel like you're there too. Powered by Dolby Atmos and DTS Virtual X, the U8H can interpret the best way to deliver the sound to give you the ultimate cinematic experience. Now for my big screen gamers, the U8H does come with a game mode pro with auto low latency mode, which enables your TV to automatically switch to the game mode when it detects gameplay. We have a variable refresh rate, which allows the TV to adjust its refresh rate automatically and in real time in order to match the frame rate being outputted by your console. We also have an enhanced audio channel, which allows you to enjoy the incredible sound design just as the game developers wanted you to. Talking about sound design, what you hear is just as important as what you see. So I was ecstatic when Hisense dropped off the U5120G at my door. This beauty comes with the wireless subwoofer. It was the first time that I ever experienced that. You just plug them in separately and they connect via Bluetooth. The design is so sleek and sophisticated. It's almost like it was made for my TV stand. It fits perfectly in the area. It has 12 speakers, including the sub, which help create the immersive sound. It features 4K HDR pass-through and 510 watt output power. The eight inch sub carries 180 of those watts and it goes as low as 40 Hertz. So you just know that the bass is Connect with EARC to experience uncompressed Dolby Atmos level audio. A wall mount is included, so you can mount it right under your U8H. I opted for the TV stand. The Hisense U5120G achieves official high res certification, which means it gives you a sound experience akin to a recording studio or a concert hall, sometimes even more precise than MP3s. You can get one of these for 8,000 Rand. It comes with its own little remote if you want to use it independently but the TV remote also controls the soundbar if you're just watching on the TV. The U5120G it really adds to the cinematic viewing experience. All in all I think it's a pretty great TV. The 65 inch feels smack back in the middle of the larger high-end TVs. The fabric at the bottom of the screen is my favorite part of its design. The remote has me feeling like a tech wizard with the hands-free voice control. Now I've watched many reviewers saying that this is the best high MTV on the market for the price and I couldn't agree more it goes for 20,000 Rand so if you're interested or you want to check out the rest of the features I'll leave the relevant links in the description below thank you very much for watching this review let me know what you think of the TV in the comments below I'll see you guys soon with another video peace